Hello and thank you for joining us for 8 News at 11. I'm Heather Hope. Tonight, Chesterfield police need your help in finding three suspects connected to an armed robbery. It happened in North Chesterfield yesterday morning. And 8 News reporter Victoria Lucas spoke with residents today on high alert. She joins us in our digital center with more on this. Victoria. Heather, good evening. Police say the robbery happened at around 5 a.m. yesterday. The suspects targeting a 7-Eleven convenience store on Belmont Avenue. I spoke with a mom of three who lives right across the street, and she tells me the safety of her family is the most important thing right now. When you came and told us what happened and I told my husband, he's just like, yep, yeah, we're just going to try to find a house sooner. Tori Watson is a wife and a mother of three and tells us Saturday's armed robbery in North Chesterfield is a major concern for her family. We're close to the main road and stuff that happens like this. Um, our, our kids just don't play out in the front. Like my daughter, she plays out in the back. Take a good look at your screen. Chesterfield police are looking for three men. They say went into a 7-Eleven, took out their guns, demanding money from the cashier and left the store with an unknown amount of cash. It happened on Belmont Road. Thankfully, there were no injuries. Watson tells us it could have been worse. I grew up in Chesterfield and, you know, Southside. So it's, it had people get hit by stray bullets all the time. So I don't want that to be something that happens for my family. Now she's asking for more support from local police. It would be nice if there is a larger presence um, now, especially there being a daycare directly beside them, and then there's kids all over. The investigation into this robbery is ongoing. And now we do want to note this incident comes after a string of several reported robberies in the Fan, Bird Park, and Carytown neighborhoods. We told you yesterday Richmond City Police were able to make an arrest for those robberies with the help of state police and the community. Now they need your help and are asking anyone with information to give them a call. We have their number listed on our website. In the Digital Center, Victoria Lucas, 8 News.